The teenage owner of a cereal bar in East Town or the East Town area of Grand Rapids is attracting national attention. News 8's Ruben Juarez spoke to the young entrepreneur about her successful start as a business owner. Ruben. Hey, Whitney, Taylor Kyle is a young woman who knows what she wants. The recent East Kenwood grad running a thriving business, East Town Cereal Cafe. Her success drawing the attention of a national TV network. If you're into having options, East Town Cereal Cafe is a place to be. They have traditional favorites, special editions, unique flavors, just about anything you can think of. Right now, you see over 100 boxes of cereal up here, but downstairs we have way more. 18 year old Taylor Kyle runs a show at the cafe. I'll give you the rundown. Um, basically, there is three things you can choose from milkshakes, waffles, or bowls of cereal. What sparked this idea was just the love of cereal that is in my family. Um, I originally pitched the idea to my parents, who are also business owners, but they told me to do it. The cafe opened in February when she was still wrapping up her senior year at East Kentwood. I had school, then track practice, then I'll be able to come up here. The cafe attracting a loyal following. They love cereal, and it just amazes me that they're coming bright and early in the morning, in the evening, and late at night. A couple of weeks ago, Kyle received an unexpected phone call at work. I was very surprised and very excited, and I was like, you guys, you guys, guess who just called me? I called them, so you guys, Food Network just called, they just called, they just called. The Food Network coming to West Michigan to spotlight Taylor and East Town Cereal Cafe, the shoot scheduled for August 10th. Basically, it's just giving down the rundown, the history of cereal and where it started and how I'm incorporating cereal into my business. East Town Cereal Cafe, a family business. Her brother Edward Christian helps us serve the food. Her parents Tony and Carmen provide guidance. It's a blessing. It really is. Um, we are extremely grateful uh, for the opportunity that Taylor has um, to not only um, showcase kind of her talent and her um, eagerness to be an entrepreneur, but also to be able to uh, be a blessing to other up and coming youth who may have aspirations to be entrepreneurs. Kyle also excels in track and field. She'll run collegiately at Indiana Tech. The young entrepreneur will be away from her business to focus on school, but the cereal bar will operate as normal. In fact, one of her long term goals is to open more cereal bars in other cities. Reporting in studio, Ruben Juarez, News 8.